inclusion, which is the main theme of this year's Internet Governance Forum, is absolutely key as it concerns artificial intelligence and digital transformation more broadly. The UN Secretary General's high-level panel on digital cooperation really underlined the need not only to recognize digital interdependence, but also to ensure that digital transformation is inclusive, is diverse, and is multi-stakeholder. Until today, only half of the world is connected to the internet. Like, that's the basic underlying principle. If you go to Africa, you find there are countries where it's just 9% of people who have connectivity, or 12%, or numbers like that. And when you look at it from a gender perspective, you see that men are more likely to have access to the internet and to devices. The reality is that women globally are still 30% less likely to be online than men. Women and girls often lack access also digital skills. If there's no standard definition of what it means to be digitally intelligent, how can you go out and become digitally skilled? All persons should be taken into account. We all should be uh, considered equal and have an equal say in this conversation. I, I hope that for inclusion. So the, the issue with inclusion is that unless we are digitally inclusive, we are going to widen not only the digital divide, we are going to widen the economic divide and the social divide. That is already happening. And really, really important for me is capacity building, the ability to be able to understand what you're doing and also just to have equality and have men, women, girls, boys and everyone having the same kind of access. So human rights that exist offline should exist online and inclusion is at the heart of ensuring an accessible digital transformation so that people have the tools necessary and the access necessary to use digital transformation to co-develop the future that they want.